So welcome to Examiner's videos on coordinate geometry of the line. After watching all of these videos, there's no question they can ask you about this topic and the Leaving Cert that you won't be able to answer. We also do videos on every single other Leaving Cert higher level maths topic. So if you go to our channel, you can check out all of those playlists. Here's our logo up in the top right corner. If you want to click down in the link in the description, uh, you can find out way more about us. And also if you go to examlearn.ie, that link is also in the description, you can see all the cool free features we have on the website, like all of the exam questions on every subject arranged by topic. You can see the exam papers and the marking schemes side by side. You don't have to click in and out. And you can avail of A1 grade study notes if you'd like to sign up. So like and subscribe if you enjoy the video so you can get notifications when we upload new videos. And yeah, that's all I have to say. So now I'm going to jump straight into the, the topics of the video. So I'm just going to do a quick revision on coordinate geometry of the line. So obviously your, your x-axis is your horizontal one, your sideways one, and the y-axis is the vertical one or the straight up one, okay? Uh, and so you have them labeled, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. On this side, it's going to be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. And the same on the y-axis up here is plus and up down here is minus. So a point is always uh, x-coordinate x coordinate and then y coordinate so the x coordinate comes first and then there's a comma and then the y coordinate so that means this point here 2 1 is 1 2 out on the x axis and then 1 up on the y axis so then you mark your point in same here this is 6 out on the x axis and then 4 up on the y axis and then you point the dot okay so we're going to do some of the formulas that we're going to see um, on this topic so we're going to look at first we're going to look at the midpoint formula so the midpoint formula ooh, no midpointy the midpoint formula so the midpoint formula there is given below uh, x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2 so the midpoint between a and b here would be let's say this point c and obviously it's in the middle of the two of them so if you want to find what the coordinate of that is you have to put in the numbers into this formula here so I'm going to write a out here is 2 and 1, and then B is 6 and 4. And this is a, a trick you should always do. You should always write which one you're going to be using as X1 and Y1, and which one you're going to be using as X2 and Y2, just so you don't get confused later on. So now the midpoint, so C is going to be, so X1 is going to be 2, so we're getting the midpoint between A and B, plus X2, which is going to be 6 divided by 2, so this formula, comma, uh, y1, which is 1, and y2, which is 4, divided by 2. So that's c is equal to 8 over 2 and 5 over 2, or it's equal to 4 and 2.5. So that means this point here, c, is 4 out on the x-axis and about 2.5 up on the y-axis. The biggest mistake people make with this is they try to get an answer, so they try to, I don't know, stick these two together, so they try to say 4 plus 2.5 then at the end, but it's not a numerical answer you're looking for, it's a coordinate like this, okay? Uh, so that's all we're going to talk about the midpoint, we're going to move on to harder things. Um, so the length formula is given there, so that those two symbols mean the length of between A and B is equal to x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, and you get the square root of all of that. So if we want to look at that on the graph, it's going to be how long is it between A here and B like that, yeah? Uh, so that's what we're looking for. So I'll write again, I'm going to write A is 2 and 1 and B is 6 and 4. This may seem a little bit repetitive, but it's just a, it makes everything so much easier. So I recommend doing this every single time. Uh, you're putting something into a formula and also you should probably write out the formula every time because you'll get some marks even for putting down the correct formula even if you don't put the numbers in properly if you put down the correct formula the examiner knows you're taking the right first step and you'll get three marks at least okay and anyway, i'm going to find uh, this here so that means the length of a b is going to be big square root so x2 which is six minus x1 which is two squared plus y2 which is four minus y1, which is 1 squared. So that's going to be the square root of 4 squared plus the square root of, sorry, plus 3 squared. And that's equal to the square root of 16 plus 9, square root of 25, which is equal to 5. So that's the length 
and you just say units all the time, okay? So because you don't know if it's centimeters or meters, you just say units most of the time. So that's how to get the length of AB, the length between two points. You have to know the two coordinates of them. So hopefully that makes sense. We're going to look at one last uh, formula then. Actually, we'll leave it there for now. We'll talk about slope in the next video though. So that again was just a really quick revision. Uh, we're going to talk about slope and then it's going to get progressively harder. So the last few videos are going to be the new topics you might not have seen on Genius. This is all just revision. So yeah, we'll see you next time for a video on the slope.